my puppy is here to make an appearance say hi my name is milo i am a tiktoker i have over a thousand followers on tiktok one of my videos went viral he is five years old i've had him since he was a month old and he is my everything my beautiful puppy i feel like i'm gonna regret filming this video looking like this for the past two days, I really haven't been wanting to straighten my hair or curl it or anything. I've just been wanting to have it out of my face in a bun. Got lots of stuff. Got lots of stuff to talk about. I haven't even said hi to you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How is everyone doing? I hope you guys are all doing really well. I bought some new makeup. Like, You know, do you ever like think, where is all my money going? Like, what? what did i spend money on and then you realize oh here i have some new makeup to show you guys and i am planning to sit down and test all of the new makeup that i've bought this month on camera i know that i mentioned some of it in my last video in my go-to makeup look but i want to actually sit down and show you guys how the products worked how they apply give some more of my thoughts just so that you guys see it, see them more in action i think that's always the best although i love watching favorites videos but there's just nothing like actually seeing someone putting the products to the test so that video should be coming sometime next week but today's video i did just want to share with you guys some new products that i've picked up some of them they're not new but they're also not that old but they're all new to me and I just hope that you guys enjoy this video. Does anyone else's dog like only know Spanish or English? Because Milo, I will tell him to, you know, if he wants to go outside and he'll just sit there like, what did you say? But if I tell him in Spanish, like, ¿Quieres ir afuera? He'll, you see, like, he'll be like, yes, let's go. Trick he knows is how to sit. We'll tell him sit or siéntate in Spanish and that's really the only thing he knows. His, his trainer couldn't train him. So before we get into the whole haul, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Angela and I make beauty, lifestyle, reviews, <laughs> tutorials. I do a little bit of everything here on my channel. So if you're into that type of content, please be sure to subscribe. I post new videos every single week. I ended up placing an order on ColourPop's website. I have mentioned before that I don't like to purchase directly from ColourPop because their shipping takes forever. I think I waited for like over a week for my order to get like a shipping confirmation and that was just really annoying because this is something that I really wanted and it sucks that I can't like leave a link below so that you guys can purchase it if you want to because this bundle is no longer available for purchase. And the other thing is that in this bundle, there are two monochromatic palettes and i've said before that i don't like color pops monochromatic palettes i really fell in love with the blush crush palette my favorite youtuber andrea Ma Matiano, i don't know how to pronounce her last name but she came out with this little bundle with a little collab with ColourPop and she picked out some of her like ultimate favorites from ColourPop all in a bundle for a discounted price so the bundle itself is no longer available to purchase but you can still purchase the items individually this is just a little card that it came with and if you haven't watched if you don't watch your channel i don't know what you're doing with your life she is honestly like my favorite beauty guru youtuber because her reviews are just so honest but respectful and helpful and honestly like her recommendations are so good a lot of the stuff that she's recommended that she swears by that she loves i've fallen in love with them so that's why when she announced that she had this little collab with ColourPop, i thought if she's saying that those monochromatic palettes are good then they have to be good came with two monochromatic palettes i have the going coconuts palette and also the it's my pleasure i've already used the going coconuts palette and when this first launched it really caught my eye but like i've mentioned before i haven't always had a great experience with ColourPop's nine pan monochromatic palettes oh you can see myself right here oh hello um it's just a gorgeous neutral 
cool toned i guess you could say palette it's so good i also got the it's my pleasure palette i've been wanting to get like a purple palette i decided to pass on jeffrey's bloodlust palette i just i think it was i think it's a gorgeous palette but i just didn't really see myself reaching for a lot of the shades that were in there i just didn't think that it would be worth it for me to spend a really big chunk of money on a palette that i didn't think that i would be reaching for so much so i'm glad that i got this one instead again this is the it's my pleasure palette a lot of people have raved about this palette and i haven't used it or anything i also included this just a tint lip crayon and this is in the shade the strand i've used this i think i've used this maybe like two times and i i like it i think it's a really pretty color the only thing that bothers me is the scent you guys know that i'm really really picky with scents this smells like coconut mixed with some fr something really fruity but nasty like it is a very pretty color i do want to pick up more of these lip tints which this is what it looks like swatch it's a very pretty like universal pink i think that this would really suit a lot of different skin tones and it's like very it feels very like moisturizing and comfortable and soft on the lips and then the other two items i actually used the this one in my go-to makeup look because whenever i want to spend more time on my makeup i'll like lightly line my eyes i didn't wear any eyeliner today like it's rare when i do but i use this in that video i like it this is the ColourPop liquid liner in numero uno and it's just a liquid liner i mean what else can i say about this but it's really easy to apply your eyeliner with this so hopefully i improve on my eyeliner with this little dude the last product that was in the bundle this is the ColourPop brow boss gel and i believe this is in clear I picked up two more items from ColourPop. um these i actually picked up at ulta this is the pretty fresh hyaluronic tinted moisturizer and i got mine in the shade fair 4n and i i've used it once i don't know how to feel about it i think it just looks really i don't want to say greasy but it just makes my skin look more oily than usual but it is a perfect match and i have been wanting like a tinted moisturizer for those days when i don't want to put on foundation i'm gonna keep testing it out um but if it doesn't work out then i'm gonna have to return it and i wanted to get the setting spray but they were out of stock at the ulta that i went to and i also wanted the primer but it was also out of stock so i only picked up the tinted moisturizer and i also picked up the concealer i featured this concealer in my go-to makeup look and i've i've been liking it i think it's a good concealer i think it's more of like a medium coverage it's really easy to blend out and it's very very creamy two more things that i picked up from ulta i got the nyx intense butter gloss in apple dumpling and i picked this up because they actually had this for 197 so it's just like a nice pretty like how, how can we describe this shade like a nice pretty orangey nudish color so i really like it i think it's like i think it's gonna be like really pretty to wear for like the upcoming springtime so i picked this up and i also picked up the elf seriously what is it called seriously satin lipstick and this is in the shade nectar and i've really been liking this lipstick i think it's really creamy and it's just comfortable on the lips and it gives you such a nice pretty i don't know it just it just looks so pretty on the lips and i think it's also going to be perfect to use more in the springtime so i've i've really been enjoying this lipstick and these lipsticks are only three dollars i was actually at target yesterday and i wanted to pick up more of these but the ones that they had i just i didn't really like the colors another elf product that i picked up i picked this up last night at target and this is the elf liquid glitter eyeshadow in flirty birdie i've heard a lot of good things about these little liquid eyeshadows supposedly they're dupes for the stila liquid glitter shadows and those are a little they're a little bit up there 
but these were only five dollars each i only picked up one the target that i went to they had like a straight up gold shade and then a silver shade and i didn't really like them but i decided to only pick up this one and i think it's so so pretty i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it that is so so pretty i don't have a lot of like individual shadows or individual glitters so i do want to get more into these but this is just so so cute i got some stuff from wet and wild wet and wild is currently on sale at target so if you buy one item you get another one for half off so i've had my eye on this for a while since it launched i haven't really seen anyone talk about this that much this is the wet and wild prime focus primer serum this is supposed to be a hydrating serum and i've been wanting a hydrating serum because i've noticed that a lot of the primers that i have their focus is more for blurring out my pores as well as controlling my oiliness and i mean i apply the primer like all over my face i mean i do have combination skin so do a really good job at controlling my oiliness but i feel like i should have like a hydrating primer to put like on my cheeks you know just i don't know like i don't i I don't know I, i've just been wanting a hydrating primer okay i decided to pick this up and this is a hydrating water-based serum formulated with rose water and green tea extract refines and nourishes as it preps and primes skin for extended makeup wear like look at this packaging like this is like a freaking glass bottle like okay what a wild I it comes with a little dropper i have to smell it, it smells very fresh Ooh. This smells like how my old job used to smell whenever I would be upstairs around the nurses. This is how they would smell. So I had my eye on this for a while now too. This is also from Red and Wild and this is the Halo Glow Blush Lighter. I have mine in the shade Highlight Bling. And I think that this is just like a little highlighting duo which it's super pretty it's like a very like silvery shade and then like a pinky shade so this is cute and it says on the back blush and highlighter duo instantly sculpts and highlights for a full-on strobe effect Ooh, so this is actually a blush and i feel like it could even be used as like a blush topper i also picked up some lashes this is from ardell natural demi lashes I believe i did only get one my favorite lashes are from kiss lashes but it's one specific style that i always find those at tj maxx and marshall's but recently i haven't been able to find them i don't know but i am trying to test out new lashes i've wanted this for a while now too like <laughs> and my boyfriend bought this for me so he didn't want to pay for my other stuff, but he bought this. This is from Physicians Formula. This is a Physicians Formula butter collection with Whaley Hong. Whaley Hong. I used to watch her videos. I don't know why I stopped watching her, but um, she collabed with Physicians Formula on this beautiful cheek palette. These four shades right here, they are limited edition um, shades. And then the last two bronzers here, these are just part of like the regular line. I believe it was $15. I am so excited to play with this, to get some use out of this. I've really been wanting to test out more Physicians Formula products. And I feel like this is going to be maybe a little bit too dark on me, but I feel like everything else is going to work out just great. But I am so excited for these blushes, this highlighter, these bronzers. Like I'm excited for this whole palette. And it's just so cute. Like look at this super cute packaging those are all of the new products that i've bought that i wanted to show you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to be filming a video testing everything out on camera so keep an eye out for that subscribe so you don't miss out on that video and let me know if you guys have picked up any of these products that i showed in today's video let me know what are your thoughts on them if you like them if you hated them if they sucked give me all the tea down below in the comments well, thank you guys so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me as always just thank you so much for your support and let me know of any other video requests that you guys have leave those down below in the comment section because i'm putting together all of my video ideas for the month of march because 
we're not playing games in March. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I don't know what else to say. So yeah, thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!